These days, the recession has everyone looking for ways to make a few extra bucks. But celebrities have an extra option. They can make commercials that are only seen overseas. Here's CBS News correspondent Sheila Mifiker. We in the killing Nazi business. Don't give up the day job, as the saying goes, and it applies to celebrities as well as lesser mortals. But what's an actor to do when not on the red carpet? Welcome to the lucrative world of advertising, pitching products, especially at your overseas fans. Somehow, this will convince Japanese consumers to buy cell phones. Brad Pitt is not the only one selling his celluloid famous face. Scores of other actors have found foreign commercials to be a quick, if cheesy way to earn cash. Kevin Costner is particularly busy, flying Turkish Airlines. And in an ad for Fiat, the car that has everything, except it doesn't come with George Clooney. Snoop Dogg does a turn as a German folk singer for Vibemobile. Tommy Lee Jones plays a hard done by servant who takes on the boss in table tennis in an ad for coffee. Let me drink. And Kiefer Sutherland sends up his own Macho 24 image. A ring a ding ding. Yeah. Hollywood stars making ads even inspired a movie. Lost in Translation follows an American actor's trip to Japan to film an ad for Suntory brand whiskey. Why do it? First of all, they love money, but second, they love being busy. And when the casting directors stop calling, the idea, oh, perhaps we'll just fit a little advert in, remind ourselves that somebody loves us. It's not just actors who have felt the lure of the lucre. Henry Kissinger pushed The Economist magazine. It's Henry Kissinger. Even the former leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, sells pricey handbags in exchange for a hefty donation to his foundation promoting a better world. Japan has traditionally been avid for ads, but stars have been flocking to Brazil. Sarah Jessica Parker was paid just over half a million dollars for this appearance for a Brazilian shopping mall. A strong currency made getting such stars suddenly affordable for ad makers there. With a payday worth hundreds of thousands of dollars for, let's face it, just a few seconds of work, you can understand the attraction. Sheila McVicker, CBS News, London.